In the latest instalment of the Meet the Lender series, today we're joined by Harsha Dare from Quantum Mortgages. Hello, Harsha. Hi, Gindy. Nice of you to join us today. Oh, it's great to be back at HQ. We've got a fantastic video coming up. Today we're going to be discussing social housing leases, a massive trend for buy to let landlords in 2024. So let's get into the video. So Harsha, before we start discussing the meaty stuff, tell the audience about yourself and the lender that you work for. So I'm the head of sales for Quantum Mortgages. Um, we entered the market 24 months ago, so we're very, very new. Um, but the reason why we entered the market is because the co-founder um, and owner, Jason Neal, uh, identified a clear gap that we are trying to bridge. Um, so we have carved out our market space and trading successfully. Can you tell me a bit more about this gap that you're trying to fill? Sure. We are an uh, unregulated lender at the moment. Uh, we are offering specialist buy-to-lets for your professional landlords. Um, so we're looking at higher yielding properties. We're looking at different sort of aspects of company layer structures. We're looking at complex cases, basically, and providing a reasonable, good solution for the landlords. So it's fair to say that you're not competing against the vanilla lenders, but effectively you're looking for the landlords that can't get the financing at all. That's correct. Where um, lenders typically don't like the situation of the company structure, for an example, or the type of property that the landlords are actually seeking out currently, we are offering good solutions for those landlords. So Harsha, you told me a bit about quantum mortgages. Talk to me about the biggest niches you would say within your lending policy. I would call them USPs. Um, we are a manual underwriting um, lender. So we look at all asp aspects of every single case and client um, and basically make a good lending decision and provide solutions where possible. We will also consider things like day one remortgages where we have no rule of six month ownership. Um, so the landlords effectively, Gindi, can uh, replenish their funds that they've used or exit an expensive bridge that they've uh, acquired. Um, that's just one of our USPs. It's fair to say that landlords are looking to diversify their portfolio. So I can see why Quantum are trying to be a bit more flexible mm -hmm. within their lending policy. But why are you being so flexible within your lending policy? We have clearly identified the demands and the needs um, as an evolving economy comes about for landlords and they are changing rapidly. Um, we identify their needs and then create products around them and our criteria around them. What we found is within a very short amount of time, we've managed to provide hundreds and hundreds of uh, solutions to the landlords and we've had repeat business on the back of it. We actually understand what the landlords require, what their needs are, and we help them with their future planning. It's fair to say that you are disruptors, right? 100%. That's actually my favourite word. Um, we are disruptors in the market. We have disrupted the market and we will continue to do so. Fantastic. One of your biggest unique selling points, I would say, is social housing leases. Now, just to give the audience a bit of a background into social housing. Social housing is renting a property out on a three or five year lease agreement to a charity, a housing association or a local council. For a landlord, it's guaranteed rent for three to five years, meaning that there's no rental voids at all. A lot of lenders, it's fair to say, hardship, do not like lending to housing association or social housing leases purely for the fact of the vulnerable tenant aspect. Why are quantum mortgages so flexible within that? So we've identified that um, some landlords like the certainty of guaranteed rent mm. is government backed, uh, which means that also they get the benefits of service and maintenance. Um, so effectively, they are providing um, solutions for the government to house vulnerable tenants. Um, we see this as a great growth opportunity for the actual landlord and it's a good market space to be in. Um, so, yeah, we're active supporters of that. It's fair to say a lot of lenders tend to stray away from the vulnerable lending and vulnerable tenants. Um, do quantum mortgages have any concerns around the property being damaged after five years or when the property has been handed back to the landlord? Um, no, because again, as mentioned, one of the benefits of having a Circo Mia's lease assigned to and their government-backed um, companies is the fact that they are providing service and maintenance with that lease. So the property is looked after. If it is damaged, then the lease covers the service and maintenance. 
So we're not concerned about that. So I did peace of mind there for a landlord. So within a lease agreement, what Harsh has mentioned there, that if the property is damaged, the housing association or the social housing aspects of it will repair the property before they pass it back to the landlord, which is fairly good, right? Yes, definitely. So social housing is really big at this moment in time. Harsha, do you think social housing is here to stay for 2024 and beyond? Yeah, absolutely. I think they've only just started, to be honest. I think the journey has just begun um, and the awareness is spreading. Um, I know that there is certainly a high drive to attract more landlords to provide more properties to Circo and Mears uh, so they can effectively fill the demand that they have. So effectively, shortage of housing in the UK, um, demand is still high. And you think it'll be around for the next few years? My personal opinion is yes, definitely. Um, we've certainly seen it starting. There's a demand for it. We've seen more and more clients asking us about this type of criteria. And yeah, we're here to provide a solution, definitely. Great stuff. Harsha, can you give me an example of a wow case that you've seen at Quantum Mortgages for a social housing case? So give me an example of a, a case in the last 12 months that you Quantum Mortgages have lent on. Okay, so we've done quite a fair few. Um, one particular one that comes to mind is a semi-commercial property where we had um, a convenience store downstairs. Uh, we had six flats on top, but everything was on one title. Um, and the landlord wanted to provide that property to Serco uh, on the vulnerable tenancy agreements. Um, and we were happy to service that for the landlord. Wow. So you took a charge over the whole property? Correct, because everything was under one title as a freehold title. So we've treated it as a semi-commercial uh, and we were happy with the the a contract with the government. That certainly is a wow case. Harsha, what advice would you give landlords watching this video looking to invest in the social housing scheme? Okay, so typical lease terms assigned is around six years, 11 months. Um, at Quantum Mortgages, we can have no more than five years remaining. So you are in a position to negotiate that, then please do so if there's something that you're entering into for the first time. If you've already had a lease, as long as there's no more than five years remaining, that's one of the things that we look out for. Um, and it's dependent on property type as well, which is where your experience comes in. Um, so make sure that the property type uh, fits within the criteria uh, and we can house it. I mean, we've got many different ranges to house many different properties. So uh, yeah, please explore your options. Um, and obviously using a great brokerage like yourselves that understand the market and you have the skill set and you have the expertise to provide that uh, extra additional information to the landlords that always helps with the lender working closely with the broker and then providing the landlord the end user with the right solutions. Perfect. So I'm assuming that obviously your products can't be accessed direct. You have to go through a broker channel. That's correct. So we're 100% intermediary Gindi. As you know, we do not do any direct business with directly to clients. Um, and this also helps us making sure that again, it's double sided advice. So as you guys are on board with us and started the journey with us 24 months ago when we first launched, you were fully aware of our requirements, our documentation process, our packaging and our underwriting process. So together we can manage a client and make it a seamless process. Perfect. Some real valuable amounts of information there. Harsh, finally, we do have a worldwide base now at Create Finance. And for those watching this video around the globe thinking, yeah, I like the sound of this. Can they get involved in this scheme? So we've got expats or foreign nationals living abroad. What do you ask me to that? Yeah, Gindi, I mean, you know, we've had many conversations about your foreign national expats clients and what their needs are and what their demands are. And we've always provided you with solutions. So, yes, I mean, again, uh, we have a foreign national um, expat criteria, as you know, and product range. Um, as long as they fit within that and they're going for the right type of properties, then absolutely, yes, we can help them get into this market space too. Ah, perfect. Fantastic. So. Some fantastic bit of information there by Harsha Day at Quantum Mortgages. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. If you'd like to know more about mortgages, please check out our other videos.